what's up y'all welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about five things that i love about my 2019 kawasaki vaquero and also on the flip side five things i'm not really a fan of so let's get into it Here is a list of things that I upgraded on my bike myself. <laughs> First thing was the wheel. So the stock wheel on this bike is a 16 inch wheel and I upgraded it to a 21 inch wheel. That was the first mod I did. It was, it had to be done. The second mod that I did was I upgraded my handlebars from the stock 10 inch handlebars to mini apes that are 12 inches from JSR. Along with that, I upgraded the grips, $25 from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Of course you want people to hear you when you're riding down the road. So one, the one mod that I did not install myself, I took it to the shop, was my exhaust. So I have Cobra pipes on my bike. When your mechanic call you and say that your bike is ready, and then before he gets off the phone, he says, and ma'am, it's loud. <laughs> From reading, there's really only three different pipes that you can put on this bike. If I'm wrong, correct me, but there's maybe three or four different pipes that will fit without any modifications. Let me say that. The next thing I did was I put a Kawasaki Bluetooth audio adapter in there. So when you get this bike, it does not come with Bluetooth. So you have to get the adapter or just upgrade your... Um, your radio with a bluetooth radio the next thing i did was i added a phone charger so it's just the typical um it's just the typical like outlet that you have in the car the next thing that i upgraded was my headlight so the stock headlight is just you know a regular stock headlight um i upgraded it to a led headlight and of course with that you have to get the appropriate mounting for it and um, there is a company called Engineered Adapters. They are so dope. They make a lot of stuff for the Vaquero where you can add these modifications that you want from the headlight to radio, all that. I also updated my mirrors. Next thing is the vinyl. So my bike is not painted, it's a vinyl wrap. Beginner's job, I'm gonna just keep it a buck. It's a beginner's job and I did it. I didn't take the fairing off, which is something I think I would, I, if I would have done, it would have been a lot easier or take the gas tank off i just i put the vinyl wrap on there when it was on the bike everything was still together my winter project is actually to take all that vinyl off and redo it same exact vinyl or i might change the color if i find something cute <laughs> the last and final mod that i have put on my bike is the tour pack and mount i took a lot of trips and i find that i need that extra space right now i have a razor tour pack on it but i'm going to eventually get a chopped tour pack because I need a little bit more space. Y'all might be a little mad at me because I have to keep it honest. I said that this video would be five things that I loved about my Kawasaki Vaquero and five things that I disliked. Just to keep it honest with you guys, I did not like my bike when I first bought it. But that was the vanity part of me. That was the girl in me that wants a cute bike. You know what I'm saying? Once I got it to where I wanted it, you already know. Five things I love about my Kawasaki Vaquero. Number one, price. Two bikes that are commonly compared with each other when someone's looking at the um, Kawasaki Vaquero is comparing it to the Harley Davidson Road Glide, which is a bad bike. I love my cow. With that being said, with the Harley Davidson, the price of that is approximately five to ten to fifteen thousand dollars more than this bike so remember i just said that i didn't like this bike from the beginning and part of that was the way it looked but i have been doing my research on this bike and i knew that it could be customized whether i got the roguelite or whether i got this vaquero i was going to end up 
customize it. So the question became, would I rather buy a bike that's $10,000 cheaper and I can put that money into customization to make it the way I want it to look or would I rather pay $10,000 more for a bike that you know a lot of people encourage you to buy but not necessarily where my heart was. So I made the decision to get my Kawasaki Vaquero and here we are. Number one rolls right into num reason number two why I love my Kawasaki Vaquero. So number two is the fact that it is customizable. When I first got my bike, I hated the wheel of the bike, the bars, they were too low. So when I would ride for two and a half hours or more, my shoulders would start to get tight. I hated the mirrors. It, it was just, I don't know. I don't know. Again, I just think it's the girl in me. Like, I just wanted a cute bike. I wanted it to be me. Like, when I roll up, I want you to know that's Rose's bike. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how I am. The number three thing that I love about my Kawasaki Vaquero is the throttle response and the speed. I'm not going to talk too much about this because, I mean, it's self-explanatory. When I pull on that throttle, my bike will move. If I want that thing to go, <laughs> that baby will go. <laughs> One thing that I'm working on for um, part two of my bike modification is that I'm going to get it Ivanized. He updates your ECU, which makes your bike run a little bit better. So since I have new pipes on there, I do have some issues with um, backfiring and popping when I'm decelerating. So I'm going to get it Ivanized over the winter and hopefully that fixes that problem. Reason number four why I love my Kawasaki Vaquero. The side load saddlebags as you know with the harley davidson they have top load i guess if you think about it it's kind of cool but i really love the side load it gives it a different look to the bike and it's also a different function and i also find that i'm able to fit bags in there a lot easier without taking up too much space which is really nice i've seen arguments about which one top load or side load holds more stuff honestly i have a tour pack <laughs> So that argument doesn't really phase me too much. I just, whatever I can't fit in the saddlebags, I put in a tour pack. Reason number five why I love my 2019 Kawasaki Vaquero. It's not a popular bike. So as you ride down the road, I'm not seeing a whole bunch of bikes that look like mine. And especially, you know, because I customize it. I'm definitely not going to see a bike that looks like mine. But it's kind of like when you get a car, at least for me personally. You know when you're about to buy a new car, you got your, your eyes set on it, and all of a sudden... That's all you see going down the road is the car that you're about to buy. <laughs> it doesn't seem special anymore. So with the Vaquero, it's the same thing. It's like when I ride down the road, I see people trying to figure out if my bike is a Harley or not. And I've had people ask me if it is a Harley. No, baby, it's not. It ain't no Harley. <laughs> It's not a popular bike. And for the reasons that I said I hated it, I could see why somebody wouldn't want to buy this bike. It doesn't come with Bluetooth. It doesn't come with navigation. It doesn't come with a nice radio interface. All the beautiful bells and whistles that come with the Harley Davidson are not on this bike. I'm just going to keep it, keep it honest. Which leads me into five things I dislike about my bike. Which this video could have been all about that, but... You know, with the modifications, you can't say nothing about my bike. I love it. Correction. Three things that I dislike about my Kawasaki Vaquero. I first want to say that most of this stuff is cosmetic. Like I've been saying throughout this video, you know, I'm vain. I want something that when I roll up, you know that's my bike. Okay. So, and, uh, and all of these dislikes are based off of buying it straight from the dealer and rolling it off the dealer lot. No customizations, no nothing. The one thing that I dislike, these are rose dislikes, okay? If you have this on your bike, kudos to you. Ride your... But for me... Um, I didn't it was I wasn't a fan of it number one was the wheel size so as I said before the stock wheel size is 16 inches um, mm -mm, no I didn't like that so I up that's why I updated it to the 21 inch wheel number two like I just said the handlebars I hated the handlebars when I first bought it it was too low I couldn't ride for long periods now you could argue that yes it has cruise control but Number three, the thing that I hate about this bike is it has very limited tech. And honestly, it leaves you very little room to even put a whole lot of tech in, into it. Um, so if you, so this bike only has enough space for a single DIN radio. Whereas if you wanted a double DIN radio with a touchscreen, you know, interface, that's not possible on this bike, no matter what you do. You're not going to find somebody that has, unless they have done a whole lot of fiberglass work.